continue i think i need to place remove the breakpoint you can see here the downloader is started and you can see the percentage successfully the all the files are downloaded successfully okay and you just need to navigate to the zoom cloud recorded directory and here you can see you have files hi everyone i'm hopeful that all you will be fine in today's session i will show you how you can actually create a zoom cloud recording downloader board using the node.js and a got npm package for that i have already binded the zoom events and also i have applied the endpoint url validation flow okay if you are a new here and you have no idea how you can actually bind the zoom events and you can validate the notification endpoint url then just navigate to the zoom integration playlist and watch that session so for this session for the zoom cloud recording downloader board we first need to install a package called got got okay so i'm just pasting the npm i got 1001 package which is the current version and then we need to create a helper inside the root directory so we say here zoom cloud recording downloader.js inside that for auto downloading or sync the zoom cloud recording we need to create two different type of streams one is a write stream and another is a read stream either i can say downloader stream okay write stream will work as an intermediary we will read or download the stream using the downloader stream or read stream and we will send that stream to the write stream and write stream will write the file inside the project root directory we will also create a zoom cloud recording directory inside the root project so now let's start we first need to import the package which we have installed recently called got and we need to call require got and then we need to import write stream and we will import the create write stream from fs package and we also need to import make directory sync package and we also need to import the exist sync package okay from the fs package and we also need to import the stream from require node.js stream and we also need to import the promiseify so we say promiseify and we need to import that from utils so we say node util and then we need to create a pipeline so we say const pipeline and we need to call the promiseify dot promiseify and we need to set stream dot pipeline need to format the code and then we need to build the helper and we name it sync zoom cloud recording we say async and we need to pass the payload we will get that payload from the zoom webhooks zoom will send a payload inside this endpoint so it's from that webhook event payload we will get that payload and first we need to request the zoom rest api to get the download access token regarding that recordings and also all the files would we have recorded on our zoom cloud against that webhook or against that meeting so that we need to import a helper which we have already built it inside the recordings helper so if you are a new here and you have no idea how actually you can request the zoom recordings api to fetch all the recordings against the meeting id then you just navigate back to the zoom integration playlist and watch the session we say const and we need to require we say recording helper and from recording helper we need to import cloud recordings and here we need to call that so we say recording await and we call cloud recordings and inside the cloud recordings we need to pass the meeting id and filter so we will get the meeting id from payload so we say payload.id and for the filter we need to set filter include fields and we say it inside that download access token and we also need to set the expiry time by setting ttl parameter so we say time to live parameter we will set that value to 60,000 seconds then we need to first check if the recordings are available and then we need to first build the path for the zoom cloud recordings so we say recording dir and we say dot zoom cloud recording and then we need to use the existing package which we have imported from fs we need to pass recording dir and we apply not that if this path is not exist then we need to create that path so we say await make dir sync and that helper is already imported 
Inside that, we need to pass recording DIR and we need to set the path called recursive true. Then we need to build another helper called download recording. And inside that, we need to pass recording object and also the file path that zoom cloud root directory path. Okay. Okay. And then first, we need to create the download history. So we say download stream and we will call the got package which we have imported so we say got stream we need to use string interpolation so we say here recording dot download url okay and we need to append the access token and we will get that access token or other I can say it will be a download token download access token which we have a set it inside the include fields here so we just need to pass that as a parameter and we need to append that here also okay and then we need to set the options and inside the option we set is stream and we set it we are using god package and we are using the stream api inside the god package okay and then we need to create the write stream or file write stream and we need to call create write stream which we have imported here we need to copy and paste that okay need to use a string interpolation we said file path and then we need to append the file path and we call new date dot get time okay and then we need to append the file type and we will get the file type from recording objects we say recording dot file type and then we need to build the promise so we say return new promise and we say ac resolve eject and here we need to call the pipeline which we have created already here okay and inside the pipeline we need to say download stream which will be a source and the destination will be a file write stream and we need to bind them and here we say response inside that we need to call resolve and we say true and we need to bind edge inside that we need to call reject inside the reject we need to set error we need to format the code okay and then we need to bind then with the promise so we say response and here we say console.log coding is downloaded then we need to bind case we say error we say console.log something went wrong okay we need to place a semicolon we need to format the code before that we first need to also bind the download progress event on download stream so we need to bind that here we say download stream type of mistake here we need to set download stream not download recording so we say download stream dot on and inside that we need to bind event called download progress and here we need to bind the handler inside the handler we need to bind the parameters as I can say we save the parameters and parameters are transferred total and percentage and inside that we first need to round the percentage so we say percent and we call make the round and we need to multiply the percentage with 100 and then we need to log so we say console but log need to use string interpolation here we say progress and we need to say it transfer divided by total and here we need to say percentage okay so we say percent and we set the percentage symbol okay need to permit the code and then we need to call this download recording helper inside this if check so here we need to first apply the for each loop on recording recordings dot recording files but for each okay and we say recording index and we need to call the helper we need to set a weight here and also we need to set a sync 
here we also need to set a wait and we need to call download recording helper and we need to send the recording object download access token we will get that from recordings uh, download access token and then we need to set the file path and the file path will be recording directory semicolon and we need to format the code then we need to export so we say module of export here we need to export sync zoom cloud recording format and inside the api we first need to import that helper so we say cost we need to require that file the file is a downloader zoom cloud recording downloader from that we need to import sync zoom cloud recording and inside the events endpoint we need to place a switch statement here we say request.body dot event and we say if the event is recording not completed then we need to call await and we need to call sync zoom cloud recording inside that we need to set the payload okay so we say here request dot body dot payload need to format the code and then we need to start the api so here we say npm start before binding this api zoom events endpoint with a tunnel called ngrop we first need to authorize so just navigate to the browser we say localhost port for thousand slash api slash zoom slash authorize enter we are successfully authorized now we need to open the terminal and inside that we need to bind the port 4000 with ngrock so we say ngrock http port 4000 okay now we need to copy this url then we need to navigate to the marketplace.zoom.us and we are already inside the zoom marketplace app and just click on a features tab and just click on a event subscription toggle just add event i'm just naming it land of day okay then we just need to set the uri event notification uri for development i'm setting that for the development for the production and i'm setting the relative path for the events okay which is the same point okay and then we need to click on validate We are successfully validated and just click on add events here you just need to select recording and you need to select all recordings have completed event check that and just click on done we also need to set the production to the same uri and we need to click on validate this also validate okay now click on save button and events are subscribed successfully now we just need to navigate to the zoom.us slash meeting and we need to start a meeting and we will then need to start recording join from browser join audio and click color here we need to start the cloud recording this meeting is being recorded hello testing hello testing hello testing we are just trying to build a auto downloader for Zoom cloud recordings using the node chairs and we are recording this session from learn with Nick channel okay now we need to end this meeting then we need to navigate to the my meetings and click on recordings here we need to wait for a few seconds until recording will be processed okay so recording you can see here recording is processed successfully and we have successfully also received the event and event is called recording completed we need to continue continue and we are inside the sync room cloud recording stay power and we have a recordings okay I have just changed the if check here. I have placed end and I have also checked that if the recording files are inside the recordings, this response. Then we need to navigate to the if check and here you can see inside the root we do not have a Zoom cloud recording and that's why this check is true. And after that, you can see the Zoom cloud recording directory is generated. Now I have also changed and I will get the recording files from the recordings object and store that inside the recording with download token and then i applied the for each loop on that okay so we also need to place a breakpoint here and here you need to click on continue continue we are inside the download recording here we have a recording 
object so inside the download access token we have a token and here we have a zoom cloud recording directory path so now just stay power and we need to click on continue continue i think i need to place remove the breakpoint you can see here the downloader is started and you can see the percentage successfully the all the files are downloaded successfully okay and you just need to navigate to the zoom cloud recorded directory and here you can see you have files inside the api.js i have a passed object not directly payload okay so this key point i have also changed okay and this recording bot will work auto uh, we have received a wave of notification from the zoom and the recording will be automatically started and the recordings will be saved here in this session i have a built in the recordings saving directly inside the root directory or on the same cloud where we have hosted the project but i will also build us another session where we can auto sync the downloading to uploading streams so that we can download from the zoom cloud and we will at the same time we will upload the same stream to some storage services like azure blob or aws so i'm hopeful that you have enjoyed the session if you have any query regarding the session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share us queries and suggestions from a shared contact details take care bye bye